All right. Uh <laughs> Do you really think you can wound me, a god, with that primitive weapon? Pathetic. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay, I got a crown. Now what? But is this the golden bow? I wanna know. In the safe. Doesn't work. Oop. Excuse me. I don't know what type of ending this is, but uh, we're gonna try it. It's gonna be a long run, though. I have very little health. I'm gonna give it a few more saves here. Don't shoot me, I'm innocent. <laughs> I've done nothing but tell God he's an idiot. <laughs> That's not a crime. It's a fact. <laughs> this one specific God, and no other God, of course. Opening that temple gate was a bit too annoying. Can I cut through here to get the Sentius? I can, can I? Oh, not all of them have bows for attacking. These guys are just frozen. This is like a safe, safe way. Oh, no it's not. And hoop and hoop and I'm not even sure what I'm doing with this. What what am I doing? Figure out Was was this what I supposed to do? <laughs> I have her crown now? I do. What do I do with this? Just do all the things. I'll right. go. Now what? <laughs> I can just go debate God again. The forty nine melodies fetch a game. I don't think Sentius has anything. I'm your best behavior, I trust. Interesting to say.
We're finally. We have. I'm. Is that a. Ah, uh, look now. Thank you. I have the crown, but I don't. What do I do with it now? Oh, I'll oh, just. Another one fresh out of the baths, I think. I'll just go talk to. Hades again, I guess. Anubis, Dengus. I like Dengus. We'll call him Dengus. Because I wanted to talk to him more. Oh, they're all on already. Wait, this is Greek, isn't it? Is this Roman? Oh, it is. Oh, this is Greek. Right. Right, right, right. The the younger civilization first. Wait, the scene. He's not gonna. Oh my God! The. And here, you allow me to introduce. Good. Then now it is time. Only it has long been within my power to see to the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But when I peer into you, I see only a blank slate, as if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. I'm a video game How character. Charon, where did you find this one? I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? Well, you talked you talk to me when I woke up. If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought you here? He cannot know. I do not know. My kin departed long ago, and Proserpin has slumbered for 3,000 years. Tread lightly, mortal. Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. But answer this. Why have you come here? What is it you seek? <laughs> your hubris is amusing. So it's unclear and bullshit. I should have saved before this. Or waste my time with lies or wrong-headed arguments. You face death here. So, tell me, why should I put an end to the so-called golden rule? <laughs> uh... Uh, fuck. Do I know? That is a very serious accusation, mortal. What sin have I committed? What evidence do you have to support it? You've tracked people, you've abducted, you've contained punishments. Yes. Every one of those people was guilty of failing to ensure their peers live virtuously. They failed collectively, and so they were punished collectively. The Romans understand this, as did the Greeks before them. 
How unfortunate that we are not where you are from. Ah, but I am a god, and you are a mortal. Why would you expect me to treat you as I treat my own kind? You are not a peer. You are not a respected equal. Let me ask you this. Do you treat insects as you wish to be treated? Do you care for their well-being as you would your fellow man? Do you ensure they have food and shelter and protection from predators? Do you give them rights? Of course not, because that would be absurd, just as it would be absurd for me to treat your kind as equals. Yeah, well, you're, you're more powerful, but might doesn't make right. Where to begin? Our lifespans exceed yours by thousands of years, in which time we accumulate vast wisdom and a mastery of technology you cannot begin to imagine. Because that is the source of our power over you. Yes, this is... Mm, you could say that. Wow! My kin have no superiors. Hmm, that is true. Go on. Make your point more. This is my point. Let me ponder that. <laughs> Ooh. If you are right, then it would follow that all this time. I have been in the wrong. Yes, yes, you've been. But no, the very thought of it aggrieves me. How can I accept your argument when doing so would make me a tyrant and a monster? Yeah, you made a mistake. Wait, what? What are you saying? You have spoken eloquently. And yet, oh, oh, am I convincing him? It follows that my holy shit flawed from the beginning. But that would mean Jupiter, Preservator's father, who knew more about you than anyone, proposed a wager I could never win. Why would he do that? To keep Preservina here. Oh, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> uh, uh. Perhaps, and if that was so, surely I would have sensed his deception. How could I have been so blind for so long? Uh. Uh. Your words stink, mortal. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking in knife's edge here. As difficult. I really am. I cannot deny it any longer. I've been so fixated on taking my beloved to Elysium that every time one of you sinned, it wore away my hope of being with her again. In time, I began to despise your kind for making her believe that you could ever be better than you are. But my rage was not born of malice, quite the opposite. Everything I have done, I did because I loved her. Who knew this empathy of yours, which you celebrate so much, could have such a dark underside? This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form, of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the way and leave for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever escape. That's fine. We don't care. Hmm. Very well. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. That's fine. Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place, and you will have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict, 
But that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? Yes. Farewell. Morty. I've done it. I've <laughs> I've talked God out of something he's been doing for thousands of years. I'm so clever. So what this is this ending three? Oh hey Al. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Know who you are. I barely remember how I got here myself. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time, learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like saving the life of a dying woman, foiling an assassination attempt, and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. <laughs> and the doors just opened up to her. Well, I wonder who that could have been. on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus. Because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him, and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? <laughs> Man, these robots are crazy! I don't know, it reads like an earnest account to me. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me! You got it. See. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Isn't this just the same ending? You go on ahead, and I'll be there soon. You, I like the option this game so far. One is doom everyone, one is doom everyone but escape, and one is debate god. <laughs> what a brilliant game. You're back! But... you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? Ah, oh, what a relief. Thank you. We already had this. Me... Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well... No, we've already been through this. I really don't have questions. I suppose you have questions. You can just call me Ka I that that mo hmm. mo as, as you, you, uh, you, that you We've done this already. It ne I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. 
But... You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I... ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Yes. Yes, I am. Alright, so... In this one, I saved everyone. Oh, a year later? Really? The heck? Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. You look... I read your book. Oddly different. And what the critics said about it. I guess they weren't ready for your theories about the underworld. Anyway, after everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. You've, 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 oh, hello. you've, <laughs> you're in this timeline? You're finally here. Remember me? Of course. <laughs> it's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. <laughs> anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks. For freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. I know! I can't believe my luck either! But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to see you there. 